guys, what's good? It's your boy H2Bala, and I'm bringing you another YouTube video. <laughs> Have a little story for you guys. Today's story is about, about basketball. Now, I used to play basketball a lot. Obviously, my name is H2 Bala, so I like to play the sport of basketball. Now, back when I was in high school, there was one game that really stands out to me, and I want to tell you guys about that game. We had a rivalry team that we played from the town of Big Piney. This was our rival, so we played them every single year, and it was kind of the biggest game of the season. Anyways, we start off the game strong. Boom, tip off. We get the ball. We're running up the court, whatever, good first quarter of the game. Now, I want to go through a few rules of the game. Obviously, you can't travel, stuff like that. But one of the most important rules is if you have the ball and the clock is down 3, 2, 1, and you throw it up before the buzzer goes and the ball is going towards the basket. And as the ball is in the air and the buzzer goes off, if the ball still goes through the basket, the shot counts, like the points will still count. That's important because the second half of the game, it was it was tied, it was pretty close, close, but we got down by three points. Pass the ball in, one of my friends is dribbling the ball up the court, he passes it to me at the top of the key, the clock's going down three, two, and then I throw it up in the air, the ball's plummeting closer and closer towards the basket, the buzzer goes off, and boom, the ball goes through the hoop. At half time, we have a tie game, okay? The score was 32 to 32. Now, I'm really glad that I made that shot because that brought momentum to our whole team. Our whole team was stoked, we're all ready to go for the second half. We come out of the locker room, we're ready to go, halftime was good, we come out, we start warming up, we're ready to go for the second half. We're gonna win this game, is all I can think to myself and my teammates, let's go, let's rock! So you know, I'm sitting there, I'm warming up my three-pointer, I'm making them all like 10 in a row, 11 in a row, 12 in a row, I had a good warm-up, I was on, man, I could not miss a shot to save my life. Anyways, second half comes off, the other team has the ball, now they got the ball, they're dribbling up the court, we're playing high defense, we're getting them good, we're stealing the ball, but it's still such a close game, it's back and forth, you know, they go up two points, then we go up two points. It was so intense. Now keep in mind, this is our rivalry team, so I have played them every year since I was a little kid, and we have always played each other, we have always wanted to beat each other, so this is the biggest game of the year. The crowd, the stands are full of people, people are everywhere, there's not even room to sit, people are crammed in there cheering as much as they can. Third quarter comes to an end, and it was close, man. We were down by two points. In the game of basketball, every person has five fouls. If you fi foul five times, you're out of the game. So two of our best players had got fouled out and this kind of sucked because we're in the final quarter and we could win the game but we are two of our best players are sitting on the bench because they fouled out so I'm sitting there looking at my buddy and we know that it's up to us to win this game do everything that we can we get our chins up high and we're ready to rock we start the fourth quarter we got the ball we're dribbling up and it's close we get up by six points in the fourth quarter there's now 30 seconds left in the game and boom our rivalry team makes two three-pointers in a row and now it's a tie game. What? A tie game? Now I have the ball at the top of the key. I had to be point guard because our point guard had fouled out. I'm dribbling the ball off the court. I'm at the top of the key. We pass it back and forth. And then one of our teammates makes a bad pass. And the rival team steals the ball again and goes and makes a layup. Now they're winning by two points. Two points, guys. We're losing right now. And there's now seven seconds left on the clock. Never mind, the buzzer rule, if I throw it up and the ball is already in motion towards the basket, when the buzzer goes off, the shot is good. So I always have that in the back of my head. Anyways, I get the ball, I'm dribbling it up the court, I pass it to a friend who's way down there, but he gets double teamed. Two defenders are in his face, he has nothing to do, he cannot toss it up. So he throws the ball over his head, I catch it, I'm at the top of the key, I shoot it up, and the ball is plummeting closer and closer towards the basket, and it's getting there, three, two, the buzzer goes off. The buzzer goes off, and it turns out that the buzzer was my alarm clock, you guys. It was all just a big dream in my head. So let me know if you guys think that I won or lost in the comments down below. And if you guys have any crazy dreams, let me know in the comments. Also, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure that you like, subscribe to your boy, H2Bala. And until next time, you guys, peace!